Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how I went from this color hair to silver hair. So if you're interested, just stay tuned. To start off, you're going to need some rubber gloves. You don't want to get the bleach on you because it will burn, so please use gloves. Uh, you're also going to need a brush to apply the bleach and some Tupperware to mix it inside of. Next step, obviously you need your bleach. This is the Wella bleach. Um, it's from Sally's Beauty. Uh, it comes in a big tub like this. And to mix in with that, you'll also need a developer. I'm using 30 volume because I need a pretty strong lift for my hair. Okay, so I've already gone ahead and put a shirt on that I don't mind getting bleach on. I've taken my extensions out. Um, so next it's time to mix our bleach. So with the Color Charm bleach from Wella, it says for every scoopful that you take, you're supposed to put two scoopfuls of the whatever volume developer that you're using. So I'm just going to mix it into my Tupperware bowl and once it's all kind of like a good consistency, a really good paste, then um, I'm ready to apply it on my hair. Okay, so here we go. I'm just putting my gloves on. Um, I'm using stronger gloves only because they're easier for me when I'm working with bleach. Um, and what I'm going to start with is doing my ends, only because they have so much dye on them. You guys remember when I was um, pastel and all that stuff. So they have a lot of dye on them, so I'm just going to start by putting them throughout there first and hope that they lift a lot because I really, really need it. You can tell that my roots have grown in quite a bit, so I'm not too worried about um, the bleach lifting off of them. Okay, so you're going to tell that my hair has actually lifted quite a lot here, um, which is awesome. So now I'm just going to put a little clip in it, and I'm just going to wait for it to set, and I'm just going to leave it on for an hour this time. So, there we go. Hey guys, so it's a week later, um, and this is what my bleach hair actually came out as. Uh, I'll take it down so you can see it. It's a sight to be seen anyways. Um, so what happened was my roots actually didn't really lift. As you can see, they're very, very orange and the rest of my hair is actually quite a nice blonde. Um, it's almost like white blonde anyways. So I definitely think I'm going to have to be bleaching just my roots again because I need them to lift more because they're still too orange. So we'll have to do that. Okay, so applying just the bleach onto my roots. Um, try not to if you have to do this, which 
I mean, it's kind of weird to me that I have to, but anyways, I guess just because where the brown overlapped um, in my hair. But if you have to do this, try not to get it onto what's already nice and white. Just try to bleach it um, where you really need it because you don't want to ruin any of the hair that you've already <laughs> damaged, right? So I'm just taking that through my roots and then I'm going to leave that on for the same thing um, an hour like I did last time and we'll see what that turns out. To see the shape you take You're so fragile You're so full of blame But I don't blame you No, I don't blame you Okay, so here is it after the bleach. I'm finally all over at my pale yellow stage. Um, to be honest with you, it feels terrible. It feels like wet spaghetti noodles, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and tone it anyways, um, just because it looks like the right color. I'm gonna be using the Shimmer Light Shampoo. You can get this at Sally's. Um, I think in Canada it's uh, $10. Um, everywhere else it seems to be cheaper, but uh, I'm just going to be taking this and my hair is damp. Make sure that you're putting it on damp hair, it says, and I'm just going to be rubbing this um, all over my hair. I'm going to be focusing in on the roots because they seem to be more yellow than the rest of my hair and then applying it kind of throughout the rest of my hair. So uh, once that's done, then I will um, lather it up a bit and we'll see how it looks after. Okay, so I've lathered it all up. I'm gonna leave the shimmer lights on my head for an hour before I take it out. And hopefully when I come back, I'll have some nice toned hair. <laughs> hey guys, so as you can tell, my hair is finally silver. Um, sorry that I didn't show the in-between from the purple toner to this, but I'm gonna tell you about it. Um, so I used the uh, shimmer light shampoo and it toned it a bit. For some reason, it didn't really take to my roots. Um, so I kind of needed something to tone all over and get more like most of the yellow out So actually what I did was I went to Sally's and I got a liquid toner um, This is by Wella. Um, this is the color charm uh, Toner this is in T18, which is lightest ash blonde um, These are about six dollars. You mix this with peroxide. I used that and my hair went honestly lightest ash blonde like what you would think it would go um, anyways, and then once my hair was uh, toned, meaning that there wasn't um, vibrant yellows in it, because if you want this hair, you need to bleach until you're pale yellow. If you don't, if you go say to orange or something like that, it's not gonna work. Like your orange will, or your uh, silver will be very dingy. My silver is not perfect, and that's because there was still um, the tones of yellow in it. Unless you're white, you know, you're still gonna have those tones. But I'm happy with it. Um, but I wasn't happy with what gray it was, so there is no gray hair dye, as I've been told. Um, not sure if you guys know of any, but um, what I've been using right now is, um, this is a product by, called Fancyful, um, and this is in the color 42 uh, Silver Lining. And what this is, is it's a temporary hair color rinse, meaning that I have this all over my hair right now. Um, if I were to go in the rain, it would wash out. So it comes out with each wash. Um, the only good thing is that I don't think I'm going to be washing my hair as often because it is so damaged that I kind of want the oils to build up. So um, if I only have to wash my hair like every three or four days, then it's not bad to do this. You actually put this on when your hair is damp. You put it all over your head um, and then you just blow dry it in. And I really, really am happy with this color. So I'm going to keep doing this and when I get really tired of it, then I don't know what I'm going to do. I might um, go back to a pastel or something, but um, I'm really happy with this. If you guys know anything that is a little more permanent than this, just let me know because honestly, I'm going to get tired of doing this. But anyways, um, yeah, so this is basically how you get to silver. When this washes out, my hair, like I said, is a lightest ash blonde and it's nice and I'm okay with it. So um, yeah, this was a journey and my hair is done. It is ready to just say leave me alone um i've been doing a lot of conditioning treatments uh just little packets that i can get at sally's and um 
Uh, my sister is a hairstylist, so she actually just gives me a whole bunch of those too. Um, anyways, any questions, just leave them down below and I will try to get back to you all. Um, I hope that this helped someone out there because I know that my hair journeys, um, it's good to share at least because then at least someone can see my mistakes. Um, and if you know anything about why my roots didn't lift as fast, that would be awesome too. Anyways, don't forget to hit subscribe, guys. Uh, I also have a uh, Instagram that you guys can look at. Uh, it's Tasha Leland, and I also have an Outfits of the Day Instagram, um, which is Tasha X Leland. Um, and I'm actually, after I finish filming this, I'm gonna be shooting a whole bunch of stuff for that, so I'm really, really excited. Um, thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.